Hi. In this video, I'll be talking briefly about physical security, which should not be underestimated or overlooked. First, organizations should consider the protection of things like hardware, software, networks, and data from events that can cause serious loss or damage to such components. This includes protection from things like power loss, fire, flood, theft, natural disasters, and events like extreme temperature or humidity. So in addition to continuously assuring the reliability of certain critical infrastructure elements, it is of extreme importance to implement various control mechanisms that are intended to restrict physical access to facilities and computer machines and to raise employees' awareness of what could happen as a result of unauthorized access to facilities, equipment, or resources. So as you can see here in this slide, this is an unattended workstation in a doctor's office. What could go wrong here? Someone can plug in a USB device that can infect the system with malware, run specific scripts, retrieve sensitive data from the system, or someone can place a USB keylogger between the keyboard or mouse and the computer. Um, they can collect all keystrokes or even get access to the system at a later time. Let's take a look at this picture. What can we see? Something that looks like a power adapter? Wait, it seems that there is a white Ethernet cable plugged into that power adapter and the other end of that cable is plugged into an Ethernet port. Interesting. So, in fact, this is a tiny computer that is preloaded with some hacking software and tools, and it is easy for an attacker to say that this is a device that measures fluctuation on the power circuit, for example. This device here as well, it looks like a surge protecting power strip which can easily be placed in the CEO's office. And it doesn't look suspicious at all, except that it has dual Ethernet ports, and internally it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, and it's very similar to the previous one. It has a Linux-based operating system preloaded with hacking tools. I will now leave you with this short video from Rapid7 which shows how a penetration tester hacked a bank by first overcoming their physical security. Hi, my name is and I'm a penetration tester at Rapid7. So there was a time that I hacked into a bank. I basically wanted to, to see if I could social engineer my way into it. Uh, going up to the front door, it's about 5 p.m. or so. Uh, there were still some people inside, but, but not as many. Uh, I walked up with a can of air, and I noticed on the front door, even though it was locked, they got to have a key card to get in. There's a passive infrared sensor on the inside. And so this passive infrared sensor detects a, t a change in temperature. So it's not just hot when it detects your body heat, but a, a difference in temperature. So using the canned air, I hold it, hold it upside down where it'll spray CO2, uh, spread it between the cracks of the door, and it, it like triggered the, the door to open it up from the inside. So I, once I got inside the door, uh, I walked up the stairs and noticed that there's another RFID uh, card reader and a door that was locked. Well, right to the, just the right of that, there was a huge hole in the wall. It was kind of just made there for, like, I guess, looks. I just basically stepped over the, the little, like, railing, climbed over the, the hole in the wall, and I had access to the in, inside the bank. Uh, I walked all the way to the back, uh, close to the corner where, there's, where the parking lot is, actually. I plugged in a wireless device next to a printer, and then from, from the outside of the bank, I could sit there and hack them wirelessly through that wireless device that I had planted. And that's what I did the whole next day. I would just start hacking them from, from the parking lot, and they never noticed. And then that evening, I, I snuck back in the same way, uh, retrieved the device, and left. And by the time I was done, I could I could make my own accounts. I can do all sorts of things. And so that's how I owned the bank. <laughs>